Today, we have got a ton of brand new info about the Season 5 Battle Pass. That's right, guys. The next season of Fortnite is going to be here before we know it. And speaking of which, if you want Epic Games to give out the next season's Battle Pass like they did that one season back in Chapter 1, quick, leave a like on the video. And while you're at it, be sure to subscribe too to see if you're my 2,540,000 subscriber. But yes, the Season 5 Battle Pass is crazy. We've got a bunch of leaks about it, including skins and outfits, emotes, pickaxes, just a ton of stuff that is in the next battle pass. And can't forget about the skin challenge on last video. It was the scientist. So here's a bunch of people that got that right this time around. Comment down below the name of this skin and I'll leave hearts on a ton of the ones that get that right. But hopping right into it here with the info about the battle pass. First things first, the new season might be delayed. If we hop into the current battle pass menu, you can see right down at the bottom, chapter three, season four goes through December 2nd. I think it was previously December 3rd. So not the biggest change, but there's also some talk about it possibly being delayed as well, because if you go into the quests page and go up to the Herald, it says we have five weeks, four days to complete everything, which would be well past December 2nd, which doesn't really make too much sense, right? Either way, hopping into it with like the first skin I want to go over, this one is called the Barium Demon. Yeah, pretty scary name right there. But within the recent update, Fortnite added like some interesting sprays, and one of them was this right here. A green skull with the text green demon above it. Pretty cool looking spray, but when you couple that with the fact that within the files there's a new tag for a barium demon skin, it's obviously got to be referencing this, considering that, well, also in the files this one has the code name barium. Now that seems to then coincide with this survey skin because it has this same exact skull, well, very similar at least, and it's green as well, which is a super sick looking skin overall. Honestly, would fit really well in the battle pass, maybe at the later stage stages. Similarly, speaking of skins that were also revealed early within the sprays, we got this one right here, which is called Rats Was Here. A fairly interesting looking spray that clearly features a rat type character. Now this then coincides with some more survey skins. First of all, you have this character right here, which looks fairly normal, but you'll notice that her hair is put up to look sort of like ears, right? Which makes a lot more sense because she then seems to turn into this character, which is a full mouth type character, rat type character, and that clearly coincides with the spray, proving that this is going to be a brand new skin. And that's especially interesting because she obviously seems to have two styles, one the normal human style, and then the other one where she turns into the animal, and that's a perfect idea for a battle pass skin. But keeping it going here, guys, this next one is incredibly interesting because it has to do with the fan favorite character Midas, which I know we've talked about a bunch on this channel, but there was just recently added something into the files that points towards the return of Midas as a brand new skin inside of the battle pass. If you take a look at this right here, Fortnite just added a special spray titled Silver and Gold. And if you take a look at it, obviously you can tell that it's Midas's hand covered in chrome, which then just begs the question, why would Fortnite add this? Unless they're planning to finally have Midas return at the end of this season or next season as a battle pass skin, possibly just having a silver variant of Midas, which would look super sick. Also, Donald Mustard tweeted tweeted about a Midas toy recently, which we know how much he hints towards future things in Fortnite, so I find that pretty peculiar. Now then guys, if we hop onto the map for a second, this season has had a lot of NPCs roaming around, and there's one group I find particularly interesting. Now you guys may know who I'm talking about here, but it is our friends, the uh, Meowsles family. Looks like we got Kit this time. I could build you a mech suit too, you could be so tall. I wish that was a clue for like a future skin, but again, Kit can spawn here and also Meowsels, which I find particularly interesting because there's official concept art of a brand new Meowsels variant, the Summer Meowsels variant. Now, would this be in the Battle Pass? I'm not exactly sure, but the fact that it's here is very peculiar since they do seem to be expanding on the Meowsels storyline recently, so we could see a brand new family member in the very near future. But let's take a break from skins here because we know that there's going to be other items as well. The Battle Pass has pickaxes, back blings, gliders, rats, all of that stuff, and of course, emotes. Which this season, we didn't get too many emotes, but one of which that has been in the files for a little bit now is the one called the Koi Dance, which you can see right here. Now, oddly enough, this one hasn't had any audio added for a bit, even though it's an icon.
Icon series emote, which again is pretty odd, but I'm expecting that the reason they're doing that is because they're saving it for the next battle pass. And we've had Icon series emotes in the past inside of the battle pass, so it would make sense. But then going back to skins for a second, before we get into like some of the brand new items that are going to be added this battle pass, one character that is going to play a huge role in season five is called The Nothing. Now we talked a lot about that character in my last video, which you should check out if you haven't yet. But basically this character is expected to be like in charge of the Chrome, more so than the Herald even. And then there's a whole nother theory that this character is actually Geno, which we first got a glimpse of all the way back in the collision event when we saw him in that reality. I believe even the foundation and Jonesy jumped into that too, which that could be a showcase of what the skin is going to look like. But there's also been surveys and stuff of how Geno instead looks like this right here. This is concept art directly from Epic Games, and it has similar characteristics to what we know Geno to look like. And of course, there's a secondary style, which would be perfect for the battle pass. And we've even gotten concepts from the community already of what this skin could look like, and it would fit perfectly. So again, since the nothing seems to have a big connection to Geno, it's expected we'll see that skin in the battle pass. But not only that, we may already know what the secret skin is going to be. Once again, the Herald was this season's secret skin, and usually they do have to do with the story a bit, unless it's, well, Indiana Jones. <laughs> but there's a few that are oddly based around the zero point or the last reality and stuff like that. Like, for example, this one right here, which looks super sick and could definitely be a secret skin. It's got what looks like a zero point right in the center of its chest. Similarly, there is also this character, which this concept is a bit more painterly, but again, has that same type of vibe of like the zero point. And there's also this like celestial type vibe with these skins, which seems to be what season five is going for. There's even this guy right here, which uh, looks like a space dude. All of these would be perfect to be the secret skin inside of season five, but I'm not really sure which one quite yet. On top of that, I think we're finally going to be seeing Huntmaster Saber inside of the next battle pass, considering that he has been in the files forever now, and leakers have already been able to get him into their lockers. He even comes with two different styles, with the silver one like we saw back in that one season where he was a boss. So it's a fully functional skin, but now there's other items for him as well, such as a dedicated wrap called the Hunt Begins Wrap, which is a bit of a weird wrap, not gonna lie. It's kind of just his armor pattern with his eye on it, but clearly a part of the set. And then you've also got this spray that features him and some scythes, which that could then mean that those are actually his pickaxes. Dual wielded pickaxes, maybe? That'd be pretty cool. Although, wait a second, I think these are actually his pickaxes now that I'm double checking. Yeah, the Saber's Fang, which is, uh, it might be dual wielded as well. But when are we finally gonna get this skin? But yeah, one of the coolest things that we know about this new battle pass is that there's apparently going to be some brand new item types, which we haven't seen in a super long time. Apparently, it's just called apparel, which honestly could be a bunch of different things, but we do know that you can equip multiple items of it, which sounds very intriguing. Now, it was also recently revealed some previous item concepts that still could be coming into the game, like for example, player titles or player banners. Like this right here shows exactly what it would look like, and this is official concept art from Epic Games, but it would display when somebody gets eliminated by you and show how many wins you have, how many limbs you have, also what level you are, and even some custom art, as you can see with all of these different variants, which I honestly think would be super cool. I'm surprised they haven't added that yet. On top of that, Victory Royale circles, which are like custom animations for when you get a Victory Royale, like this concept from way back when, again, an official concept, would shoot off fireworks and stuff and also show your total wins. Not to mention in the past, there's been talks about weapon charms, hats and stuff. So there's a lot that this could possibly be. And then hopping back onto the map for a second, I want to test out if this certain trick still works, but it has to do with the NPC that is inside of this building, the Underwriter. Yeah, this mysterious dude who does have a skin within the files. We've been wondering when we're actually going to get access to this skin. And as a reminder, if you start a fight with him and then eliminate him while wearing the Mystique outfit, just like this, where are you going, buddy? Where are you running off to? Oh gosh, he's got a shotgun. There we go, we got him. We can use Mystique's built-in emote to shape shift into the Underwriter skin, which again confirms that it's inside of the files and a fully usable outfit. I mean, look at that. We can do any emote we want with this skin. Now, I find that particularly interesting because this season has a huge theme of no sweat insurance. I mean, all of the balloons have that no sweat insurance logo because they're the ones that are floating all of the buildings to keep them safe from the chrome. So it seems like next season would be the perfect opportunity for them to give us the Underwriter skin officially so we don't have to use the 
Mystique skin anymore to actually get the outfit, even though I mean, it's a pretty cool secret. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on and also check out some of my previous videos on the screen right here, such as going over a bunch of season five info. But again, hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.